In this video, I will teach you basic line work which we use in schools and colleges. Welcome to technical drawing. So now I'll teach you how to draw different types of line. First we will draw a column. Now see this. First we will draw dark line. So I will retrace. So I'll get a dark line. Now if I want a medium dark line, I will draw it only once. And if I want light line, I will apply very light pressure. It will be only for your reference. So with one pencil, I got dark, medium dark and light line. I'll show you once again. So when I'm drawing dark line, I'm retracing it. See this. For medium dark line, I have to draw it only once. And for light line, you have to apply very light pressure. See according to standard, there are different types of line. But right now what we are doing is for the basic line work. With which we will start. So at least I feel you should draw 4 to 5 times this dark, medium dark and light line for practice. See when you are drawing line make sure that there, there is no play. It has to be straight. So we are drawing one more column. We can take any distance and we will draw dark line. So we need to do this practice. So here we will draw at least 10 dark lines. Then 10 medium dark lines. It is very useful in ICSE, CBSC. See this light line also. So engineering drawing, engineering graphics, any technical drawing related subject, you need to do line work. So this is the basic line work. Right, where we need to draw dark, medium dark and light line. So in all engineering drawing portion, you have to start with this only. Now we have different arrowheads. If you see, uh, we have oblique stroke also, we have a circular arrowhead also. So we'll see how to draw all this and which one is most preferable in schools and colleges. So first I will draw this arrow it's called 1 is to 3 ratio now what what i mean by 1 is to 3 1 is height and 3 is length so it doesn't mean 2 is to 6 or 3 is to 9 it's only 1 is to 3 so you take 3 mm and 1 mm and try and draw this it will be just two inclined lines right we don't have to fill it anything like we don't have to color it it will be a very thin arrow See, th this one is fine, but you need to do a lot of practice. See this. So whenever you get time, you should practice this. Once you practice it, you will get it. So this is most uh, acceptable arrows. This is also a lot of teachers, they follow this. So you can draw this kind of arrow also. But my favorite one is this. Now we'll see oblique stroke. See this. This is inclined at 45 degrees. So this kind of an arrow is also possible. Or we can draw circle of diameter 3 mm. This way also we can show dimensioning. Now there are more arrows but which are not actually advisable. This kind of an arrow is also there, but a lot of teachers they have issue with this, so they don't so they don't accept it. This kind of a coloring I won't advise you because it will look shabby. So avoid doing such kind of arrows. Otherwise, you can try one is to three. It will take time, minimum 15 to 20 days. 
to master this. So if you see I have shown a lot of arrows. So in all these lines we will draw arrow. So this is very useful in engineering drawing, technical drawing, diploma, degree colleges, everywhere, dark line, medium dark line and light line. These three types of line you should know and you should know how to draw arrowheads. Thank you.